An opt-in beta hotfix for the Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires campaign has been released today. As players familiar with the campaign would expect, its headline change involves the severity and focus of the Chaos Invasions. You probably all know how to get these on Steam by now, but in case this is your first experience of opt-in patches, here's what you do. Right-click on Total War Warhammer 2 in your Steam library, go to Properties, then the Beta S tab, and finally select the Mortal Empires PTE option from the drop-down list. Steam should then automatically download the 91 MB update. If you decide you want to opt back out, head back to the Beta S tab and remove the hotfix from the drop-down menu. So, in terms of changes to how chaos works, the threshold for the invasion has been raised. That means your empire will reach a larger size before the hordes of chaos warriors start turning up. Even better, they will now appear already at war with a range of factions other chaos and beastmen excluded, so they want all charge directly at your faction and nobody else. In addition, high elves and lizard men will get the shield of civilization trait when the main chaos wave appears. Further bug fixes for Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires are detailed below. It is an in-progress beta patch, so there may be some other issues with it. Creative Assembly want your feedback, particularly on the Chaos Invasion changes, in this thread. Yeah, we'll probably have to start a new campaign save to see the effects of this beta patch. If you're early enough in a campaign and Chaos HASNT shown up yet, you might be okay to just continue. Other bug fixes campaign multiplayer players armies will no longer be auto-assigned the release captives option post-battle when choosing a different option, multiple updates to Chinese localization, character porthole lighting issues addressed, fixed crash that sometime happened when loading campaign saves, fix for certain game saves being marked as unable to load, missing gold mine building has been returned to Mount Gunbad, settlement garrisons in Lamia and Khemri are no longer missing, more Othiant Malekith no longer contribute to corruption types other than their own when present in corrupted regions owned by other factions, campaign multiplayer players no longer gets game aborted message after Chaos Invasion cinematic, fix for error informing players they need to purchase Warhammer 2 to play or Mortal Empires, when they own Part 2 but not Part 1 campaign multiplayer game will not now lock up when one player loses a coup or H2H campaign, black graphical artifacts will no longer appear over the vortex in the low graphics preset, found and fixed a front-end memory leak.